The attack by Zandler on the Rhodesian fuel facility in Southerton, Salisbury, on the 11th of December 1978, left many Rhodesian leaders, including its Prime Minister Ian Smith, shaken and dejected, while Rhodesian Army Commander General Peter Walls, earlier in that year before the attack, had been confidently telling the Rhodesians that they would never lose. Various other insurgency campaigns in the world have been lost because the people have been conned into thinking that they've lost. We haven't lost, we're never going to lose. This attack signaled a higher level that the war of liberation had entered. While rejecting any notion of losing, General Peter Walls had however warned his white Rhodesian compatriots that their future may not be guaranteed in the country. The thing is that we cannot guarantee that uh, people can go about their daily business or their daily pleasure in Rhodesia without being ambushed or mined or assaulted in some way or other. We can't guarantee this at this stage. <laughs> Rhodesians adorned the spaces of Salisbury, including the heavy industrial areas, by planting jacaranda trees. This particular tree is the one under which the Zandla forces fired the M90 rocket. And 38 years later, it is still standing at the corner of Bristol and Lytton Roads. The M90 rocket launcher is a shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon. Its effective combat range is 250 meters and a maximum range of 1,960 meters. Its projectile can penetrate 800 millimeters of metal, and the thickness of oil tanks in Southerton is estimated at 4 millimeters or less. These tanks would not have withstood the firepower of this weapon. The Zandla forces had to quickly get out of the area using the northwestern direction of Salisbury as their escape route. As the first tank was hit, a number of employees at the facility, including residents of Rugare and Harare townships, saw what happened. Tenda pa shero, padu zinepa njia njia pa kona, pejuao, 
tiri muna radiation is paisley rodi nanga nga umbari pa juro pa 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 inifti masuja nga kama onde ipa apo rangari uzwaru uka wanga kwa sipa kari maniru cha angu nzuko boom kadichi moto tutaza uke nguzi uru kubaka moto tese wa kubla uzu mayora jitiri mayi kutu asaji chichiri kuitika tuwane uti boom atapataka kutiza kuzuka wa mashure futi anama ya mba manju mba kati aa 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 nga jitize nga jitize amusura moto yu anisa jitu mba unayi uke wanga wa kutiza utize lako kwa mkwisi Moto wae vila za kanyanya cha zuri mire moto uri kida yo. Tikito funga kutipa mweliru kuya kuno kwa tiri. Tikito manyo one wa mwetiki manyi zana. Inini nda hito zi wakuti. Ndoso ya tika bati wa mwengu anango wa chizu zi zi. Tika tu moto ya hudi hao miriru kui. Dovu atatizi. As the fire raged on consuming the fuel, Salisbury's fire department was at the center of the action to extinguish it. What we discovered was uh, that one of the big tanks that was on the northern corner of the depot had been hit uh, by some sort of missile and uh, the fuel had caught fire. In turn, that fire developed and progressed to engulf the next tank. Our firefighters had responded that night with all the equipment they had, and they'd been fighting the fire all night. When we joined them the following morning, we continued fighting the fire. Ah, uh, Saswaka Oma, the Papani tank, Rarichi Vira, Rangara explode, as well as Rara shoot one missile. So, Petro Yaibuda, Ngoto Mukuru Chaiso Uchibuda, Sakatai, Takanga Chitsima, Ngotoyo. We matengi aicha anga kwa agasu pesira wa anda sakanyani. Ne fuel yai raskire yai re raishienda kuna na rugare kuya sa ngoto wa ifamba ne pass pema pipes kusika kurugare pesi wa wangu wa ngoto wega wega. Semu na anga chiri manamdik. BPC or Yakatangam saw eleven, Jangan Santa that train to Sokakwan. Moto, you wise kisser. So good, Kwakurungo, Daingo Tero, Masinia, Anga, Anga, Wepo, do I experience the good Tora Chaka, Tora Chakat, noting that Sandani and Dandani almost two weeks in the Tangabas. Sagamoto, you wise kisser, and Sandam, Zimamoto. Zanla's action against the fuel facility reverberated not only in Rhodesia but back in its bases in Mozambique and beyond. One morning I remember it was raining and they were sleeping in the post. Uh, then we had the news that uh, the fuel depot had been attacked and was on fire. So I just woke, woke up and said, <laughs> I'm no more proceeding to Neanda sector, I'm going back to Tete. Mm -hmm. The comrades could not understand why I said I had a, a, a mission to undertake. I was at the University of Sheffield uh, in the United Kingdom. And uh, one evening, I remember vividly the BBC local service uh, covering the event that had occurred in South Hatton. Um, there was this massive explosion uh, which really uh, made all of us who were watching television, you know, it was a hall of residence. We went silent. Uh, the British are normally not very keen to listen to news, but on this one, there was this sudden dramatic silence. People were watching uh, what was happening in Rhodesia. Uh, I would start off as an individual. I felt excited, but I could not really dramatize my excitement because I was right in the middle of um, uh, an audience that was mainly white. Then from then on, and this is what really attracted my attention, from then on, any coverage on Rhodesia, what the BBC local service would do was actually to start off by this splashing this image on the TV screen. They would splash the image of this 
massive explosion of fire. And beside the fire, in that image, would be Ian Smith looking down, dejected. The Shell BP storage tanks were a symbol of power. Energy is part of the military or it's part of the economy. In other words, without that energy, they were now at no base. Economically, the bombing was very effective. I always wanted to put it in this way. Our loss of the seven guerrillas in Chinoy or in April 28 of 1966 in Chinoy was devastating. But when you look at what happened to the Rhodesian regime, being bombed in Salisbury, that's it's something we, we could not have been imagined by anyone. Even the people who planned it, they didn't think that success would come this way. They, they, they didn't believe that you could do something like this. So it was also a mindset. Oh, it couldn't have been, it couldn't be related to the war. They're not capable of doing that. They can't do this in Salisbury, where, where, where we live, you know? So there was a mindset that didn't allow them to even think that, that you could do something like that. The companies which were involved in this oil conspiracy were French, Dutch, British, and American. Caltex stands for California, Texas. This is a California, Texas company supplying Ian Smith with, 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 with prime crude oil refined in, in, in Durban uh, for, for the Rhodesians. Uh, with the knowledge of the US government, with the knowledge of the British government, with the knowledge of the Dutch, with the knowledge of everybody. So this explains why we have always said that the sanctions against Rhodesia were done, were, were agreed to by the Western powers only for PR purposes. The Rhodesian economy was saving the British uh, uh, imperial interests. They were making money out of the minerals, out of all this uh, farming activity, out of the tobacco. And recall, the capital which had made Rhodesia become a modern country was syndicated in London. J.P. Morgan from America put his money. Rothschilds from London put his money. Commerce Bank from Germany put their money into the BSA company and into Anglo-American Corporation in, after the First World War. So this economy was essentially to save Britain. Uh, we got excited. It actually galvanized our collection of uh, money and clothing for people who were fighting in Mozambique. That was the excitement in the movement uh, and so on. And the people were willing to part with their money because we could tell victory was in sight. The tanks continued to disintegrate one by one, an indication that the fire was not to be outdone soon. Meanwhile, the Zandla Special Task Force was in earnest retreat. Why did they choose to escape through Salisbury's northwestern direction? <laughs> After traveling along the Loma Gundi Highway and reaching the 40 kilometer peg, they stopped to release the drivers of the taxis which had been used in the attack. Mabulitsi <laughs> Dandini 27 dollars and get up. And then the Shandam Sue, Lovanda, 
At this point along Lomagundi Road, the guerrillas took a northern direction through farmland, where there had not been any knowledge and experience of the war raging throughout the country. Most people who lived here were black farm workers who could possibly be suspicious to armed men passing through. Therefore, the risk against the guerrillas still remained. The fire had been burning for two days now and the fuel tanks continued to collapse. In the meantime, the Zanla guerrillas were roughly a distance of about 70 kilometers from their burning target. Most black residents of Salisbury had not yet known whether this was an attack or not. I don't want to talk to you because your friends have started that game again. But which game? They are trying to destroy this country. But I know I don't get your sense what you are trying to say to me. Because even you had the bomb that in shell depot. Because of the amount of fuel that was involved, uh, the fire developed to a point where it was one tank after another, one tank after another. And to the west of Shell BP fire, that's where we had a total uh, a depot. Uh, the, fire, the, the fire kept on uh, impinging on one of the tanks in the, in, in the complex across uh, the, the, the fence. And at, at around 11 p.m. Uh, on Tuesday night, one of the tanks blew up. And that was actually the climax of uh, the incident. The top of the tank blew up and landed in the next uh, depot, which is mobile. Uh, people started running away. Some of us ended up actually in, uh, at the corner of Beaches Road and Oakland Road. Some ended up at the former um, cold storage in Covenant Road and uh, Lytton Road, uh, sorry, uh, Rotten Road. There was also uh, consideration to evacuate our hospital because in mobile depot, there was a, a gas tank. Fortunately, that tank had been emptied a day before the fire. So the fears were if that tank caught fire, our hospital would be wiped out. 
ndakatora mazuzu anti singade kana kufamba ndichitochika kuti hey pamwe nishavere kana kuti ndasangana nawo nekuti zvakachikisa kuti zvaizonzi vapinda sei zvafamba sei kuti vashike kuno ndigotreswa here kunzi aiwa vasenge vaine munhu akadai akadai vari mota yakadai yakadai by this time the zanla guerrillas were now in the concession farming area and they had to make a decision as to which direction to take now so as to reach Domboshawa. The Zanla guerrillas re-enter Domboshawa and arrive at Mverichana shopping center after releasing the London Bread Bakery crew and their truck. Domboshawa was strategic in this whole operation because 
This is where initial reconnaissance into Salisbury began. It was the area where they had received much help from ordinary farmers, other village people, including spiritual leaders and businessmen like the late Mr. Mverichen. And he was showing very happy of our coming back. Yes, what you got at the Buddha so that Ingo Saver, Munamas and Machas and so on, and with Tamba and so on. Tingo Saver, each and Ingo Saver, each and each of the general Garabas and so on, Jimbo Man. Why do you know Garabas and Botsanganyama? I don't know which in my soul. Yeah, that eventually Tragas Ungo Torqua through media and my duty. My time events, my terrorist. Do a kaitachi, support you. Of course, oh, say on Guarimo Hondoka. Tango finger out the Inofangari Zanda forces. Posing do Arari is closer to Zanda goes there, operator from Mozambique. And Arari is closer to, to Mozambique. Zanla did it, Zanla carried it out. The international media that was in Salisbury, they were. They, they were in the police and the military. I know media people who were fighting the fire there. So their perspective, the perspective of the international media then was from the Rhodesian side. Most of the stories that came out were what a tragedy this was for Rhodesia and that it was, it was an accident, it must have been. They never admitted that it was a military exercise. And then the publicizing of the incident was done by the Zapu side. Zanla and Zanu were stronger on the ground in terms of carrying out activities. Zapu and Zipro were stronger on information dissemination. They were better, much better at their propaganda. And they had a very, so they were the one who publicized it for you. Willie, Willie as I say, Willie was very good at at information dissemination, and it wasn't it wasn't necessarily a negative thing because he was so good at it. It gave a lot of publicity to this thing that had happened. So it it had it had lots of different lots of different elements in it. I mean, clearly, clearly, the, Zan, the response from Maputo was very detailed. Clearly, it had been carried out by Zanla. There was fire now along the stream. That, flow, uh, that, that runs from the, uh, the cold storage all the way to Marimba. So we ended up having running fires, fighting a fire along the river, and we managed to sp stop that fire just before it got to uh, Rugare. Especially <laughs> industry. The fire was very big. It could be seen from far, far uh, away, especially during the night. Um, also smoke could be seen from miles and miles away because I know very well at that time I was living in Kambuzuma we could see smoke, uh, soot on the ground uh, during those days people could not even do laundry because it would end up, <laughs> it would end up black you know, because of, of soot I know people who were living in Chitungwiza they could also see um, the, the fire from, from, that, from, the, from that far Right. So it was quite, quite a big fire. The form that we were using, uh, they were stocked in the fire brigade. The field deputy their stocks, they were, they, that form ran out. Uh, more drums were collected from Feruka in Mutare, and again, that was already enough. So the authorities ended up uh, ordering firefighting form from South Africa, which was brought in uh, by air. That then assisted us or enabled us to have a continuous firefighting process. Uh, towards the end, or midweek, uh, they also brought a fire engine from South Africa. It came also a time 
where firefighters were fighting fire uh, when they were knee high uh, in, in water, in fuel. So it was quite a risky job. As far as I remember, uh, there were not less than 30 tanks because I know total it had 10 tanks and the, uh, Shell BB had quite a lot of time, but I know it definitely a minimum of 30 tanks that were involved. Other Zandla fighters in different theaters of war in Rhodesia also received the news of the fuel depot attack. Comrade Brooks, who was operating in the Belingwe, now in Berengwa district, recounts how they received the news. Comrade Brooks, Comrade Brooks, only a pair, only a pair, that ah, only a pair, she's a waiting. Matengaro, Matengaro, and that ah, Daru Mulchiko, Mateng Api, and Zaraya Vira, that ah, they are Vira Negu Arari, was Mateng Petre, BP Aro, and that ah, Mazuza Kupi, was Zaskar Zimu News, Isa Patangataka Garap, a mascot as not radio. That woe, Franz Ego is no more to Tazi, Uruto Vira. That's what I was Chagam Jeep and we took Makumu Zimba and Vatiga Radio. The show of Madame Waji. Radio Rhodesia, you know, Arab BC Tower of the Ma Gandangarwaji, Aroma, Ma, 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 Mafuta do Funganga Guanets. I can go to Vagunana, July, Gatunana, June, July, August. Chirichirimo. Takata Malosis, Agawanda, and my comrades. Nenya is a neck. The Batas would decide as a strategy. Kuti Acha Kwanisa. Kuti you get from Betagawanda and Uti Tata Malos Agawanda? Section in which it, you know, Katonga, you know, one fifteen must wire, but Tazos reduce the number in sections. Out of 15 or 16 a section, Tangata 8, 7, Kana 9. Same section, Yangu 99, Tangata 9. Matenga Sata Roa, Muri 1, 9, Muna Guna Gunzi, Wandege, 15, Kana 16, Kana 18. Ugutu Munu Mwechi Eta Anangana Ndege, Zake Mbiri. But tap, Matenga Roa, Kusowuzberi, Ma Wana Attack, Ya Guna Kuya Ma Helicopter 2. Takota Rimuchete, it must, it must, my Armania and Gamuchete, Shogutizo, Mugata, Kakanar, my group as two Angasna, we could contain them. Takota was an hour, Umeshidona, Udo retreat. Everybody in Zanla, and I can say all progressive forces were joyous. They were overjoyed because it was a target to reckon. The reaction of the enemy. I remember hearing from BBC that the then Rhodesian Prime Minister Ian Douglas Smith had to be in, in, a, in a fire brigade gear to try to assist to extinguish the fire. That was quite exciting. The initial response in Zem, I mean, everybody was very, very happy. Um, not happy by the damage, but I think you know what I mean. Happy that, oh, that the war is advancing, that, that the guerrilla forces are now in Salisbury. And so the frontline states, I think, wanted to, you know, wanted this to happen as quickly as possible so that Zimbabwe could have independence, so that they could get on with, with developing their own countries. So, it was seen as, especially in Tanzania. You know, Tanzania sacrificed a lot to support the liberation struggle. And, and I think they were very happy to see that now the, the, the guerrilla operations are moving from the rural areas into the urban areas. And they understood the implications of that. This oil, which was bombed in Salisbury, what you call now Harare, came from the Dutch, it came from the British, it came from the Americans, who at the same time were also looking the other way when their mercenaries were organizing themselves in front of their noses to come and help Smith. To have this place bombed in Salisbury meant that they had been careless from their side 
they took the guerrillas for granted to think that they are so, so weak they couldn't make this infiltration, which was a big mistake. They caught the Rhodesians completely unawares because they had this idea that Harare was safe. The war could be continued before in the rural areas into some kind of long-drawn attrition with them keeping their comfort of Harare and their general business activity going on. And generally, the, the, the administration of government uh, uh, unscathed. This oil is, is, is of military significance because it fuels the CIO, the Civil Scouts, and the Rhodesian Air Force, and the Rhodesian Army. They, they get their oil from there. And this oil is American, it's Dutch, it's British. So, yes, the, 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 the depot was a, a, a legitimate military target, and it had military significance uh, even in the aftermath. And I remember this statement that Harold Wilson had made before I went, left for Britain. He said, you should forget that the British army will come over here to put down the rebellion. Don't imagine that the Royal Air Force will come down here like a thunderbolt and put down the rebellion. Forget it. The British public will not stomach it. They will not stand for it, and so on and so on. In other words, he was explaining why Britain could not actually discipline its um, uh, rebellious sons and daughters here in Rhodesia. So it's so important to understand the context of this battle. One, from a military point of view, paralyzing the response capacity of the enemy because of the shortage of fuel. No fuel, no movement of trucks. Uh, then secondly, no movement of aeroplanes because this was also the fuel depot. And the Rhodesian Air Force was always backing the Rhodesian Army in the field. The rest of the world, including the Rhodesian intelligence or themselves, they then said, given the fact that Zanla has been able to penetrate all the way to Salisbury, and this is only a handful of people. First of all, in terms of intelligence, it means that they have people here who are supplying them with information on a daily basis. Secondly, there must be households within Harare who are also part of the network. <coughs> Therefore, if Zipla and Zanla should decide with the concurrence of the Organization of African Unity and the frontline states to take the risk and, and overrun the country militarily, this is possible. Back in Dombosha village, comrade member and his Zanla group had begun merrymaking at the Merichana Hotel following their successful mission. But this was to be short-lived. Mukano <laughs> Rhodesians appear to have got intelligence that the group which made the attack was in Domboshawa, as the whole area had now been combed by Rhodesian security forces. Cross a river, 
Mm -hmm. Take <laughs> Apo take time tonight, Ipapo, aga sungwa. Anga, I know to sungwa maakoba. Haa, uh, anga sungwa chita, ana futi. Kupata so vahi papo, kati katingati endi, kupata endi kubuku, tingwe tino nzira, aruma postori. Kupata kata kaya endi pa gomo, ringwe, kupata zika, kupata endi kupa gomo, ringwe, so. Kupata endi pa pane, musa, imbata za iti, kwa gomo, gomo, so. I see but I know it's just the same one. So, get in them do the meeting them all day. Oh, I had came. We discovered with the comrade member on a grenade, Pamba Pam, my ruiz. Sagomba, I to tea at a hundred to grow no tour. It's the salary as we don't do so. Paga to go to Rango in the Moxina, I took a foot the same morning, but no bag of bats of anan, no men. Natas, a good and One one goja dozen go soon go jet. One one goja dozen go soon go because one goja to Zikan Odigi, one hour and don't go in, one am jib. Saka, um, but I don't go to all right, I go in the test. Look what I go crazy what I eat Saka in the name and your fambana no man. Oh, it's a security. Then the poison, the other ones of fambana, Natas. In I mean, what I don't know what I'm saying. You know, someone who's going to get it, I mean, you know, I'm going to get it. 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 You know, then no men don't go no men go. Sometimes my film is also in the In this terms, I will know ah, Murung. Because I'm going to ask about do this issue. Eh, but don't go along with you. But push to it. Don't tell you such a little tune and amo. Zim with the guys in the Abba Vaji. Don't go ask now with us if we go over one. Murung, I was I look which car oh man, Murung. Because maybe I'm going to go there and buy a face or gorilla patches. I would. No, but. I was a mo don't it too. Oh, 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 deal, but I would touch our mood. Oh, 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 we are the Avalan 
azarudi huyo 22 iwe puteke aga kera futi aba endrudu la nomen tiza nomen tiza ah nomen aka hatubu ah nomen ana mbo fungo ndawapona because it was instantaneous mona saka ndaida kuti ndi sumuko ndizoona kuti zvingafambese because <laughs> kuya kwa vakaita tiger maybe zimongo about 30 meters apart or 40 meters apart saka vavangu kumba chi post changu nini mm. the rest of my comrades vango lined up vachinda uko inini ndandi ku end uko sa ndinda ndakangu kumba kachete saka inomba nanguzo tizo in the direction ava vachibva nekunoko inomba ndaina nekuka but vese vakanga vakunguridza ini ndino vakaona havanongoona mama makomrades ari kusaidu oh sa mama makomrades vomba vangori tito vachinda nekoko iri ndi ndiro akapfurwa apa iri shibuda nekoko ino iyi ndiye akarwa pachi pa nickel but ibata racho ndikini yakango fragment ari mumkati regular chikopereti kwa ndiri neri because pana kazo batwa ka okumwe and ukuno koko Eh, apa. Of course, futi yangu yaga yaga chikuo kaso. Hmm, because mam manjira ndai ita ndeuti kana kuine muto rubambira baka andu unjenga ndrugno. Dutanga namba rwera ba muto ipa dusudai. Iwa nengo chifungo dumu na chat days wo wagu imani pa side ga. Iyo nombo. Kana ripaliwa du. 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 Kana saka ndazo ngui yakuda odono mba nangu ibato ndiyenda nda kutiza nayo ndona kuti ama notes yakadamburwa nepakati ndopaka varuwa msana akotama ndivana zvino zvina maruma ndakora futi bhumu ndeme japambo sumuka chitosera chipa sa ndopanda anosvika pane mumwe musha ndobvunza kuti mambono makomrades kanza atina tambona asitangonzwa kufuti dzarira mumugomo ndakati ha okay ndandiri po ipapo saka haunengo singa azvinyanyo iti kuti uratidze pofu kuti wakuwara but dzimongwa futi unengo uchida rubetsero saka ndichingobvwa ipapo inino ndabva pamusha ipapo ndipo ndakatanga kuwadziwa kufuti and kufamba kuenda kure kwakatoti netsei saka ndo paka vaya chi ava vene kuti kini manja vavo e masojaya amaji muri kuenda anga ari pamberi saka pana kama ari pamberi ndata sina sinzi kama ziso achishika paduze manje ndona ngovhura masondo amuti chi hai ndo vata kujambira kumashure nezvuputira kuti akajambira kumashure so zvikanzi you still alive ah vakamburamba zvikanzi ah all right ndo paka nzi chi ah ava vaiti odedzera ndiki kini zviri pamberi vaiti vamwe vacho vaiti odedzera kuti kuti paka zinga vada kuzoenda Anzi ngati sita ngomu cheka cheka chi ningiri kini zvake tungu ita se unu wangu ndobva vati chi mira timbo tasa kuti chi pakamira sei pana apa ndobva otora hwanu wacho vasiwa chi saka anga ine MMG MMG HMG yacho yakatoita se vasiwa yakanzonanga mziso manje zvinzi chi izvi zvokangonzwa munhu haridza puti chete pana kana kuti chi chese chese chiri suspicious ga iyo ivho wangu ita se ongoroverera munhu musoro ndobva vatesa pepe anyway hapana incident yakambuitikawo ndobva vadzoka 37 years later, we visited Ngwerume village, where Norman was shot and injured on a hilltop, while Comrade Namo escaped to another village.
I want a vandal. I was a Ganyan, and wouldn't descend and chin up a sad Zamgo move. Eh, descend and chin up a sad. Tabaka Vana Kumsan. Eh, eh, my own own pay. I want a own. I don't comrade member of Ringitza. In the Amemba, we are paying you. Ah, 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 Huh? Buyangwerume recounts what happened on the day of the battle when no man was captured because her homestead is just a few meters away from the battle site. We must Kanzi to get out of Mona Chet. This guy with special branch, Kangari Gamurungo. So, and you are attacking us raw, man. We are going to kick up our anger. We are going to green, free for all. We are going to walk up our So, we are going to be beggars. We are not going to be beggars. We are going to be beggars. We are going to be beggars. We are going to be beggars. We the Pane wakato shika wangwari ma prominent that time, but rango shika wajungo dongo rovaji ngo ah adum zive wajungo wan wajungo ningriga. Yeah, saka nopo paraka so bebe udeta si da so unzu kama jeshi waka falanga kana instead kwa rano hospital. Zuda au just pura na ababo juu na jima tenga ya blaz aka sawa na zaji wazi wazi njia. In Harare Hospital, no man was treated for gunshot wounds before being moved to other hospitals like Bindura and Vitris. This whole process took nearly a year until a few days before independence in 1980 when Norman simply walked back home from hospital. <laughs> Kuti u uzeo tuwarungu, ma comrades, it's difficult. But then kuti u wasie wa jienda kana hari ma comrades ba mdoa ruto uchaga. But kuti utaure vuti ba mwarungu. And rungu zoto ka hindi ba wawudu puro. Dupa na angoti nduan. Vanda zoti zi, wana angoti uti. Position. The first thing is such light in the Once the trauma positions, I see what you know. Go for a one government system out the white of the Duan. Would it be a member of Ringgit? I will win Duan. Well, Bango Bassinage has one vote in Duan. You go with Zora put it in Duan. Saga, and it was a comrade member, Dini. 
From This was the first battle which the Zandla Special Task Force encountered since making the attack on Salisbury's fuel depot. So far, the group remains intact, while Namo and Lobo are wounded and Norman the recruit also injured. The group continues to move on and meet another section operating in the area where they were assisted with medication. Movement. News of the attack on Salisbury's fuel facility also reached guerrilla sections which were operating in the Domboshawa and Musana areas through people who were fleeing from Salisbury. Uchiwonazadaro Kajinji Abotai Tauri wa Tichin Zizisqua, Gorilla Warfare. Tati singa Zivikuti Tino Gona Kupinda Matowns. Tango Fungi Zirakuti, Tichango Roa, Wondo Edu, Tiripai, Tiruma Mishom. Tati singa Fungi Zirikuti, e, Pangarunga, Wakuruanga Runga, Kutitende Koroapa, Nongonya Chaipo, Pemuengi. And uh, that alone. Zaka tipa kuti tiwe ne kushinga ne kuziva kuti ah wondwe kubudira tino gona kubudira kana tichi gona kupinda mtaun tichi waro wa mtaun. The impact of the attack on Salisbury's fuel depot was far-reaching economically, politically as well as socially. Politically, they realized the game was lost. It's what other historians would put and say that's when they met their Waterloo. You know, the Napoleon who had been conquering all of Europe comes up 
with the British at Waterloo, and that was his end. To me, the bombing of those patrol uh, tanks was a Waterloo. It was a high point where now, what else do you do when you have the, your very center of power or an image of power in the sense of, of economic uh, boost that was going on? Now, if you have that bombed by your enemy, that's definitely a, a big, it had a, a big impact. You know, in other words, to them, this was the last straw they would have to put on this horse and it would just collapse. It was a big signal to South Africa that sustaining Rhodesia was not going to be a walk in the park. It was going to become an expensive affair. So it, it had important strategic bearings on the way Pretoria henceforth started dealing with an increasingly vulnerable white minority outpost that was Rhodesia. The whites would not have the opportunity to, to prolong their rule or to, to take their assets and, and, and relocate them uh, while they are still in charge. Uh, negotiations would follow a military victory instead of the other way around. So this realization forces Smith to rush into the internal settlement and then when it fails to abandon it fast and, and lash on to the Lancaster House Agreement, which, which is followed uh, a year later. By now, two weeks after the attack, Rhodesians must have gathered much intelligence showing that the group which attacked Salisbury was certainly in the Domboshawa, Masembura and Msana areas. Their follow-up operations had intensified. Zagazo Zikana after Waku Yamanj, Neguti, a su language, a Taishan disciple, Tingati, Jocho, Ragataka, Ona, Mamsana, a Kuziga Chago, Mam Togo, Quesagusika, Ku Bodogo, Tarangetane situation, a Kutijo, behind every bush, Kanka Nema security forces, Marodesian forces, Kuchaga, Wakoma Naiva. Wondo Zakai Tiga, Ah Zan Zaga Penga. As I but I got decided on Ji, that in Binda it knows what I say could. Could go Zagungu to wonder wonder on good. Is about a military zero. She oh, Sakam Tatsugra was a girl. The Bogas could pin down Mubak. My comrades, the Wakangawa. No, mine's go mine's go tight and warung. Because Otah, <laughs> Panu <laughs> 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 That was the old treatment.
wherever Bagume in Tatapi of Basco. So I end up to Grone, ne Basco. Munaji Fumban Passade, ne ne Basco. As a Gura, I got it. It was over in Dima, Nas. Can I make go? No gnus Fumama was quacker. Madarigam Zana. Do this good train your. <laughs> Having consulted spiritual leaders, the Zanla group had to storm their way out of Musana area by all means possible. Fighting on the Rhodesian side that time was Bishop Musorewa's militia known as Fumorewanu, part of which was also operating in the Musana Masembura areas. This militia was also hunting for the Zanla group. <laughs> Saga maskuzi hapa wanga jitori mas waskana. Saga ya atora bengi nyamaji. Saga ya ya nisipa chikori hipo po wa shitora wanyo insoni. Saga pataka shika isisi kwa tasuke ya papa ya paita atreho so chikori chiriku chiko umo so. Aba manzi ka saga abane zivu zimba zimu ziru uku. Saga isi tangati nichi pakati. Saga pakati ya pakati were so. Saga ya taka wana wana ifambe kubogu dayo. Haka ita rai so. and because the maximum do my sins. I not so zebo for the good, you know, them boys, my boys who came up for good and so on. Taga get us, what get us, yes, I'm not going to put Fire gun or my name of a basket up. Ah, the English girls would go to the budget. Basket. What was that? Because I told you. <laughs> the pressure against them from the Rhodesians continued to mount and severely slowed and delayed them from moving on. So I got that guy in the funga about my around ten days. So the tenth day running in the gas umbuna, my oxygen and runa, my bullets are abud. Nangwe <laughs> Papa, <laughs> Anga Guita assisted me with a good Ranani Nana Nigro Gapantuoya and a max a chapechi, a chapi Nigri formation match. You see, Abba Maji, she just say, she say, Max is the last to get all my men match, boys match. So Maji is quite a bias, but a chapi Mabara and so on. So I bought a chicken of bands where I'm getting thrown. I got a twenty and I woke up, but I don't know. Do Pataka Sangana, Nerima Group Araida Raida Bazooka. 
It is about a month now that member and his group had attacked the Salisbury fuel depot and were now fighting their way towards the Rhodesia-Mozambique border. The fire had already been extinguished by now and the whole world was still digesting the impact of the attack. There we were, aiming also at getting our freedom, but through, from a regime that was determined to say not in a thousand years. That was Smith, if you remember, that the blacks would take over this. But after the tanks, that language was never to be heard anymore. The British were deliberately using that image to conscientize their public that the end was nigh for Rhodesia. They have to prepare for it, they have to accept it, that the Rhodesians were actually not going to last uh, in that country. That's the thing. So they were now educating their own people using the achievement that had been actually scored here uh, in the then Rhodesia. What does it mean? It meant that the guerrillas, by actually succeeding so spectacularly, had in fact uh, been co-opted by the British to educate the public, which could not you know, stand the idea of um, the British army fighting their own kith and kin. In fighting their way out of Rhodesia after the attack, the guerrillas were facing their greatest danger they had ever imagined. Other sector commanders along the way decided to come to their rescue to ensure safe passage back into Mozambique. It was a message that we had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. We had to go to the attack after attack. It was common knowledge for the guerrillas that the border of Rhodesia and Mozambique was heavily mined and that critical procedures had to be followed in crossing over. However, this process posed its own serious dangers. Mm-hmm. About two marrows could have cleared the whole thing as a blast right And when I told out it's a blast right in the direction, you would blast, 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 I can go and then like the next thing down, didn't out of one, to know to cheat. Do and again, and go on. Mosa, it was like every limp, every bo- every poison 
They finally arrived at Chingwere base inside Mozambique, less one man. No rest, Muhondo. We had opted to remain behind with other sections who needed the use of the M90 rocket launcher. No rest, later died in battle in the Chikwaka area. Take time to ask me to buy and to security. then one afternoon, I just said, eh, Bamberi. That's what we used to do when we were approaching a base. And uh, the other comrades who were, who we were with, he responded, who are you? And, uh, OK, we went through the whole protocol until the, we managed to identify each other that they were genuine comrades. So these comrades were accompanied by some the veteran comrades who had operated in the Takawira sector, which is the Mutoko Murewa area. So those are the comrades who identified themselves. And as they arrived, I saw member now and uh, the other comrades. And uh, immediately they saw me, they shouted, Chef Takarova! <laughs> and uh, well, 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 we sat down, they went. I uh, want to explain what had transpired. We felt very elated, very happy, because no one now, internally or externally, had any doubt as to our capacity and capability. We registered the fact that whoever was in doubt that Southern Rhodesia was on fire, now that doubt was removed. Because now, being able to come in Salisbury, attack a well-protected, security-protected area, like the tank farm here in Salisbury, was a feat. Rhodesia's invincibility had now been shattered by a small group of Zandla guerrillas who were able to destroy an asset at the heart of Rhodesia's life. No doubt, some in white Rhodesian circles must have shed tears at this loss. In Mozambique, Zambia and Tanzania, this act of war by Zanla further raised hopes of victory against white settler rule. Even President Samora felt glad that indeed he was hosting a fighting army. He was so impressed, so he had some units of friendly more former Frelimo comrades whom we had operated with also in Mozambique, coming into the country to physically move in our liberated areas and go back and report what they saw, how we were organized. So this was a success story for Samora. He would then be able even to tell President um, Nyerere, the President Kaunda, that indeed we cannot regard as propaganda it was not only ourselves, but Mozambique's own military would now also make similar reports. But uh, countries like Britain were now worried that we would take the country by arms. So they began this lobbying, and there was this lady called um, Margaret Thatcher. She was then prime minister of the UK at the time. Uh, she was now determined, um, I think, it was as a result of a discussion with the two people, Kaunda and uh, Nyerere, that uh, they muted this issue. That's now 79. They muted the uh, conference, the uh, Lancaster conference, where they felt that, you see, 
they needed a political solution rather than a military solution. They felt that if we had a military solution, Britain would have no role in independent Zimbabwe, or the West would have no role in independent Zimbabwe. It would be predominantly Eastern oriented. So, and uh, also it would have been a, a historical event where a guerrilla army would have crushed uh, a white army supported uh, by whites like South Africa and so on. And other countries were supporting the Rhodesian army through the back door. The attack on the fuel facility and other heroic acts in different theaters of war in Rhodesia forced white Rhodesian leadership to submit to peace talks with ZANU and ZAPU at Lancaster House in Britain.